New lies about the uh, pandemic have silenced a controversial congresswoman from one of her social media platforms, at least for now. CNN's Brian Todd is working the story for us. A Brian Republican Marjorie Taylor Greene has now been suspended, at least for a little while, from Twitter. She has, Wolf. Uh, the Georgia Republican is again dealing with the fallout over her lies and misleading statements, this time about the COVID pandemic. As we mentioned, Marjorie Taylor Greene has really been spouting off recently about the vaccines in particular. And tonight, she's closer to having her Twitter account suspended permanently. Thank you for coming, everyone. This Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene has been spreading lies and misinformation about the pandemic for months. Dr. Tony Fauci funded with your tax dollars. He funded it in the Wuhan lab, didn't he? Yeah. He funded COVID-19. And tonight, she has once again run afoul with Twitter, the social media giant suspending the Georgia Republicans' account for a week, this time for her tweet saying the FDA shouldn't approve COVID vaccines and, quote, these vaccines are failing and do not reduce the spread of the virus and neither do masks. Before the suspension, Twitter issued a disclaimer at the bottom of Green's tweet saying this tweet may be misleading. Twitter doesn't give three strikes, they give five strikes. And right now, she is on her fourth strike because she continues to violate Twitter's policies. Responding to the suspension, Green issued a statement saying, quote, Twitter suspends me because the truth is so offensive to the fragile hypocrites all over Twitter. I hear Alabama might be one of the most unvaccinated states in the nation. <laughs> It all came right after Green kept spouting lies about Dr. Anthony Fauci at an event in Alabama. He funded COVID-19, the gain of function research. That is his baby. That is his experiment. And he's getting to watch it in the real world. Green's hardly the sole offender. Social media platforms have faced criticism for months for letting users publish a lot of misinformation on the COVID pandemic. Facebook, Twitter, pretty much every digital platform has really struggled with COVID misinformation simply because there's so much of it. What we see is that there's still, you know, a wide, a large number of accounts that are continuing to publish uh, vaccine misinformation, COVID misinformation that haven't been blocked. Matt Skibinski says his firm NewsGuard Technologies, which tracks misinformation online, has found several egregious examples of misinformation on the COVID pandemic over the past year and a half. Early in COVID last year, um, there were, you know, there was a conspiracy theory spreading on Facebook and other platforms that uh, 5G cell phone technology uh, was the cause of COVID-19. And people were burning down cell phone towers uh, in the UK because of that conspiracy theory, um, which had no basis in fact whatsoever and, and just took root in these um, you know, pages and groups on Facebook and other platforms. The Biden administration has criticized the social media giants for not doing enough to block COVID misinformation. President Biden, after saying last month that Facebook and other platforms are, quote, killing people, later walked that comment back. His Surgeon General acknowledged that while Facebook, Twitter and others had made some effort to block or reduce COVID misinformation. That it's not enough, that we are still seeing a proliferation of misinformation online. And we know that health misinformation harms people's health. It costs them their lives. We reached out to Facebook and Twitter for a response to the criticism that they're not doing enough to stop COVID misinformation. Twitter didn't respond specifically, but has recently cited its policy that false or misleading claims may not be shared on Twitter, and it can and does label those tweets misleading, sometimes deletes tweets or suspends accounts. Facebook told us in a statement the criticism negates their proactive efforts to fight misinformation, that Facebook has actually removed 18 million pieces of COVID misinformation, has labeled over 167 million pieces of false content, and has connected over 2 billion people with good information on the pandemic. These uh, platforms really kind of on the defensive over all this. They certainly are. All right, Brian Todd re reporting for us. Thank you, Brian, very much.